also known as Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, is characterized as a condition where the person affected has trouble being at rest, acts without thinking, and has difficulty paying attention. I can vouch for all of these symptoms, as I myself have been diagnosed with ADHD. Hello, I'm Sarah Beckett, and today I'm hoping to spread the right kind of information about ADHD. The symptoms of ADHD are caused by the brain constantly seeking stimulus, thought to be caused by lack of dopamine in the brain. What does it feel like to have ADHD? I can't speak for everyone who has the disorder, and the symptoms do display differently in everyone, especially across sexes. But for me, I've always described it as being without blinders. When you're focused, your goal is in front of you, like you're wearing blinders or inside a tunnel. When you have ADHD, your goal is simply part of the horizon. You can see everything around you, especially when you'd rather not. This can sometimes be useful because it lets you take in information you usually miss. But mainly, you just want to focus on your goal and can't because of everything else happening. Taking medication can help people with ADHD focus on their goals and put on those blinders. First misconception I'd like to clear up. Most medication prescribed to people with ADHD is a stimulant, not a sedative like most believe. We don't need to be sedated just because we're hyper. <laughs> Medications like bifentin release dopamine into the brain, satisfying its craving for stimulus and drastically reducing the symptoms of the disorder. That's why I'm able to speak to you today without getting too distracted. <laughs> of course, as with any drug, there can be harmful side effects. For ADHD medication, these include insomnia, appetite suppression, anxiety, and in extreme cases, hallucinations, which is why abusing ADHD medication is generally a bad idea. If you don't have ADHD, you should never take it. But how many children actually have ADHD? It is agreed across many sources that around 5% of all children worldwide have ADHD or ADD. In 2016, a study was done by the CDC in America that found that 15% of all American children were diagnosed with ADHD. Only 5% had the condition. 10% were misdiagnosed in America. Two million children over the age of six were taking drugs for a condition they never even had. So, how do we bring attention to a condition that's been misunderstood and in the shadows for so long? That's where the idea for a stop motion film about ADHD came from. Fidget is about a young girl with ADHD whose class is banned fidget toys. Fidget toys can provide the stimulus needed in the absence of medication and increase focus. Without the stimulus she needs, our protagonist's mind starts to wander.
was produced in around three months. It required concept art to decide which variety of fidget toys to use. Storyboarding to keep an ADHD director on track. <laughs> Score composition, casting, costuming, equipment setup, and of course, my little stars to play figures. I tried to have each figure represent an aspect of ADHD, like a hyperactive spinner, a distracted little QB, and an attention-seeking airplane. There are other smaller details in the video you might not have noticed. Imagination often draws on things around you, such as creating characters who are the same color as your nail polish, or, or creating the image of a fidget spinner from a diagram on the worksheet. The most important detail I included were the answers to the worksheet itself, answered through the perspective of a young girl who has ADHD. Give an example of a mentally healthy person, someone who is focused and has it together, she answers. What is an example of a mental disorder? She says, ADHD. Or did you not notice it? Were you too distracted to notice it? You might be thinking, there was so much going on. How was I supposed to pay attention to a worksheet? That is exactly what it feels like having ADHD. <laughs> so what I'd like you all to take away from today is that we need to uh, recognize and prevent the misdiagnosis of ADHD and ensure that we stop misinformation and put ADHD awareness in motion. Thank you.